Hello and welcome. Uh, in the previous four lectures, we have already discussed how to find out arrival rate, service rate, utilization rate, and idle rate for this particular case. Now, some advanced things. Find out probability of exactly n customers in the system. n can take value from 0 to anything. Now let us take some values of n and try to find out the required probability. What will happen if n is 0? In our particularly this case, the value of lambda by mu we have already calculated 0.6. And 1 minus lambda by mu 0.4. Now, we in the previous lectures, one of the previous lectures, we have already discussed how to arrive at this particular formula. We are directly going to use this formula in this lecture and we are not going to discuss that thing again. So, what will happen? 0.6 raised to 0, n is 0 into 0.4. So ultimately anything raised to 0 becomes 1, 1 into 0.4. So probability of no customer in the system is 0.4. Yes, refer to the fourth lecture or the immediately previous lecture. We have already calculated this probability together with the calculation of idle rate. Now let us suppose that n takes value 1. That means probability of exactly one customer in the system. That will be... Utilization rate raised to 1 into idle rate. So it will be 0.6 into 0.4. So it will be 0.24. Let us suppose that n takes value 2. That means probability of exactly 2 customers in the system. That will be utilization rate raised to 2 into idle rate. That is 0.36 into 0.4, that is 0.144. So probability of exactly two customers in the system is 0.144. Move forward. Suppose n takes value 3, that means probability of exactly three customers in the system, that will be utilization rate raised to 3 into idle rate. 0.6 raised to 3 comes to point. 1216 into 0.4. So it comes to 0 0.0864. Now let us suppose that n takes value 4. That means exactly 4 customers in the system. Probability of exactly 4 customers in the system. That is utilization rate raised to 4 into idle rate. Utilization rate 0 0.6 raised to 4 comes to 0 0.1296. I have already calculated these things. Into 0 0.4. So it will be 0 0.05184. And the last. Suppose n takes value 5, that means probability of exactly 5 customers in the system, 5. Okay, arrival rate raised to 5 into idle rate. So that will be 0 0.0776 into 0 0.4 and that is 0 0.03114. 0 0.03114. 0 0.03114. You can take value of n as 6 and so on. But the important thing is the probability of more number of customers in the system is very low. Yes, this can be the final conclusion and this is the simple most way to calculate probability of exactly n customers in the system. We just have to find out all these four things. These two can be found on the basis of the correct interpretation of the case or the problem or the sum with you. And this is nothing interrelationship of these two and this is also something like that. But on the basis of all these just primary calculations we can calculate the probability of 
exactly n customers in this system. That's it. Thank you.